Psalm 15 Lord, who shall dwell in thy tabernacle? Or who shall rest upon thy holy hill? Even he that leadeth an uncorrupt life, and doeth the thing which is right, and speaketh the truth from his heart. He that used no deceit in his tongue, nor done evil to his neighbour, and hath not slandered his neighbour. He that setteth not by himself, but is lowly in his own eyes, and maketh much of them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth unto his neighbour, and disappointeth him not, though it were to his own hindrance, He that hath not given his money upon usury, nor taken reward against the innocent, whosoever doeth these things shall never fall. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in thee have I put my trust. O my soul, Thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. My goods are nothing unto thee. All my delight is upon the saints that are in the earth, and upon such as excel in virtue. But they that run after another God shall have great trouble. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer neither make mention of their names within my lips. The Lord himself is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou shalt maintain my lot. The lot is fallen unto me in a fair ground, yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will thank the Lord for giving me warning. My reins also chasten me in the night season. I have set God always before me, for he is on my right hand. Therefore I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart was glad, and my glory rejoiced. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For why, thou shalt not leave my soul in hell? Neither shalt thou suffer thy Holy One to fee corruption. Thou shalt show me the path of life. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. And at thy right hand there is pleasure for evermore. Psalm 17 Hear the right, O Lord. Consider my complaint, and hearken unto my prayer, that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence, and let thine eyes look upon the thing that is equal. Thou hast proved and visited mine heart in the night season. Thou hast tried me, and shalt find no wickedness in me. For I am utterly purposed that my mouth shall not offend. Because of men's works that are done against the words of thy lips, I have kept my way from the ways of the destroyer. O hold thou up, my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, O God, for thou shalt hear me. Incline thy ear to me, and hearken unto my words. Show thy marvellous loving kindness, thou that art the saviour of them which put their trust in thee. From such as resist, thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me 
under the shadow of thy wings from the ungodly that trouble me. My enemies compass me round about to take away my soul. They are enclosed in their own fat, and their mouth speaketh proud things. They lie waiting in our way on every side, turning their eyes down to the ground, like a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were, a lion's whelp, lurking in secret places. Up, Lord, disappoint him, and cast him down. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, which is a sword of thine. From the men of thy hand, O Lord, from the men I say, and from the evil world, which have their portion in this life, whose bellies thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They have children as their desire, and leave the rest of their substance for their babes. But as for me, I will behold thy presence in righteousness, and when I awake up after thy likeness, I shall be satisfied with it.